Welcome back everybody. I'm back here in uh, Cherry Ridge and I want to get a bunch of these uh, thorn bushes uh, out of here before they really take off. You can see they're just super thick and nasty, you know, all over. I want to kind of open up this area a little bit and maybe, uh, you know, later on this summer I'll spray it and then uh, put a bunch of uh, rye grain down and get this greened up in here is like a little kind of uh, a hidey hole food plot in here. It gets enough sun, there's enough opening that uh, we get sun in here. This is actually where I killed that bear last year. You can see my climbers right over there and that bear was right there. I've got a one of those uh, vines hanging here that the deer always make a big scrape under and whatnot. But I went over to Terry's and he just bought this new brush whacker it's got this sweet uh chainsaw like head on it never used one of these before so i'm excited to give it a try thing's brand new it's still got this sticker on it so it's nice of them to let me give it a try we'll set the camera up and i'll try to take out all this stuff by this tree here Well, I'll give you an update of what I thought of that thing. That thing's an animal. It just totally demolishes brush. I let this thing uh, run on time lapse for you on that little spot, but I did a lot more. I mean, you can see I did all of this right there, everything at the base of that. And then I'll show you, I trimmed up this path that goes into this brush big time over here. This goes out to the duck blind. And this was getting pretty grown in and it's nice you, with that thing you can you can have it way out in front of you and you don't have to be in these briars at all you can see how i cut you know all this stuff down even up high on all the edges i mean i just absolutely mowed down the edges of this path in here way 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 easier than it would be with a chainsaw like i do every other year and then uh, here in about two or three weeks, I'm going to take 2,4-D uh, uh, and glyphosate, and I'm going to come through here and spray all this, and it'll kill all this new growth on the edges, and it'll keep this trail wide open. So huge thanks to Terry for letting me use that thing. The issue is now I think I might need to go get one, but it worked pretty awesome, that's for sure. Oh, not she, very many. There's only three. Well, it's early on. They'll be. It'll be full by the end of the year. Look at that. She's got them stashed right in here. Not a very good place to have a nest, really. No. Yep, that's definitely a woodchuck. 
We're gonna get this I six loaded up and we're gonna launch one here. Get the camera set up. Oh, that chuck took the full brunt of that I six, I think, everybody. We were just on our way down. I'm gonna hook up to the shanty right there and we're gonna move that up to the gas well piece for rainy days during turkey season when I don't wanna get wet and I wanna hunt. But I don't see any other chucks, but if we do, they'll be in a world of shit because we got the at six with us and it just ate. Let's go check out that chuck and then go move that. Boy, this had a huge hole right here. Look at that one. Let's check this truck out. It didn't like that. That took a hot six right to the skull. And it didn't fare too well by the looks of things. That's the Audi. <laughs> Either way, it's another dead nuisance chuck. Look at all these holes these things have right here. Just terrible. They're everywhere. That's one less one though. We'll uh, go throw this in front of the trail camera to see what comes and eats on it. Should have brought a bucket. I should bring a bucket with me to put those in so I don't get blood all over everything, but let's go hook up. Well, I've already had a heck of a time trying to get my hitch on here because this trailer hitch that I have doesn't fit in the Honda properly. That's why I had to use this stupid little pin that you really shouldn't be using for this because the big one didn't fit in there. I'll show you, you see the, that's as far in as it goes. It won't go any farther in because it's hitting this back plate. So it won't fit the, the full size pin in there. It's just a little bit, it just won't go in far enough to line that hole up with this. So I had to use this little pin, which I wouldn't recommend, but we're just driving it uh, up the road a little bit and then we're gonna get rid of it. But what I am gonna do is flip this around. I'll show you better, see? Uh, that won't go all the way back so the pin will fit it just goes that far so i had to use this little pin but we're going to flip it around and use that that way it lifts this thing off the ground a little bit more and then we got have to blow these tires up they're going to be flat and then the other thing somehow this door uh, this thing shifted or something and now this thing uh, doesn't grab anything when you close it this piece is supposed to go in there so we're gonna have to drill a piece on right here that'll you know 
make sure it can actually latch when you shut it. So I brought a little piece of wood to screw on there. So we'll do that. few more with us. Okay, let's see how that works. We're in business. It works. We finally have it latching. Perfect. Now we gotta put some air in the tires. Well, these blocks didn't fare too well, really. They're pretty well messed up by the looks of things. Well, I was just getting ready to hook up and I looked down and there's another woodchuck just stepping out on the edge of the field down there. Big fat one. I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera set up and we gotta get another round in the rifle here. I'm shooting uh, 180 grain Winchesters today. I was shooting 150s, but these are a bunch of old rounds I had left over, so. We're gonna make, we're gonna make these work. Well, if I got that, that was a heck of a shot with an I-6. That was about 200 yards. The first one was over there, like 170. And I think, well, I know I missed it on the first shot. I didn't give it enough room. The round hit right in front of it. And then I shot at him again as he was running into the weeds. If I did hit him on that second shot, it would have been a miracle because he was a totally on the run. So I'm just going to go ahead and I know for a fact I owe you 10 push ups, most likely 20, but that really far one, I think I heard a thud. And uh, I think I lobbed that out six at 180 green, soft tip right into it at 200 yards. <laughs> this is just a uh, three by nine scope, you know, it's nothing special scope wise. So these woodchucks look real small on that scope at that distance, but I held right over its head and let her rip. And we'll see. I'll knock 10 out for you right now. Let's go check this one in the weeds. Boy, if I hit that one on the second shot running, that'd be something.
Okay, right here is where that chuck was at on that first shot. Oh, right here is where my round impacted. Hit right under him. I'm so used to shooting the 300 wind mag and 6.5, you know, those rounds don't drop much at all with this hot six. I have to, I have to remember to think, you know, these have to deal with a lot more drop at long distances. So it's all, all my fault. You know, I made a bad shot on that, not, not giving it enough room for the drop. And I didn't get them on the, on the running shot by the looks of things. Nope. He is definitely still alive. Crap. I owe you 10 more push ups. Oh, that's the second impact right there. That one was low too, because it was running on this little trail right here, so I hit under him on the second one too while he was running. Had a second one though that was even farther. I gave a lot more room up and down from watching, you know, my round at this one. Okay. Now I'm a lot more confident that we got this one. I heard a good thud and I held probably six inches above his nose and let her rip. Let's go check it out. I don't see it. That's not a good sign. It was right in here somewhere. That was obviously up there by the shanty. It was right in here in the edge. Oh yeah, we got it. Well. Yep, there's a bunch of guts and blood. Right here, see all the flesh? A whole bunch of blood down there. I don't know how good you can see it. But, you know, it made it down its hole, so that everybody knows what that means. Or no, didn't even go down that hole. It looks like it went over here. There's a bunch more blood and guts right there. Even more over here. I think that's its track right here. Where the heck did this thing go? Yeah, there's more blood. Oh, there's some blood. Oh, right there it is. <laughs> we did get it. Oh, it's not dead yet. Right there it is. I'm gonna go grab my, uh, I'm gonna... Well, I don't actually have my pistol with me. We're gonna put it out of its misery, though. I'm gonna grab a stick and donk it on the head. I want a good hard stick. Oh yeah, that'll do it. I'm gonna cut you guys off for this. YouTube's not gonna like what, not gonna like this. There's the dust, the dust tail. It's kind of like the white flag, I surrender, but it's too late. I don't know why it didn't just run into one of its holes. It had a bunch of holes on the edge and after I shot it, it ran all the way up there and then back down through here to die. Pretty wild, but 
We got it. I think that's my farthest kill kill with the Yacht 6 since I've been shooting chucks with it. A little over. Got to be right at 200 where he's at. Sweet. Let's uh, actually try to get the shanty moved, which was what the whole plan was here. <laughs> got sidetracked. We'll grab him and... Uh, he is dead. Almost forgot you guys. <laughs> Heck, this is pretty much a mobile RV. Mobile campsite right here, hooked right up to the Honda, and off we go camping. Well, I got the shanty right pretty much where I want it for this turkey season. I'll show you. Dogs. The dog wasn't originally supposed to be on this trip, but when she seen the gator, or the Honda going by the house, she sprinted over and jumped right in the passenger side while I was going down the side of the road. So I guess she decided she wanted to ride, but uh, this is a really good spot, especially later on in the spring. This is a big strutting zone right here in this corner because it gets all the shade and the grass doesn't grow very tall. So even when this field's pretty tall, this never gets pretty tall and very tall. And the turkeys love to come in here and scratch. And uh, it's just a, a natural strutting zone. It's kind of hidden off the corner of this field. And you can see they've been in here already really recently. I just noticed this when I went through. Uh, super fresh scratchings. Well, there used to be one right there, right there. You can see they've been scratching in here quite a bit.
So we'll go ahead and get this blocked up and level it and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, that's gonna do it right there. I'll give you the tour inside here. The only reason I put this over here for turkey season is it, it's really nice on uh, rainy days. If it's raining like crazy, I can stick a decoy up right here in the corner and then I can stick another decoy up over here in the open hardwoods on our gator path. And uh, I can still hunt and enjoy being out here even if it's raining like crazy. I'll show you what we got in here. This is our view out this way. And then right there is where we do our killing most likely, right there in the corner of the field. But I could even uh, bring a little stove with me and cook some bacon and eggs in here some morning while it's raining and, and have a, a good time turkey hunting still. So that's what's nice about this. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up right now, everybody. We got the shanty moved up there for turkey season. And uh, this is where I had that camera set up where I threw those dead chucks the other day and the chucks are gone, or there's some of one of them right here. Pretty much totally gone. They've been, all that's left is the hide and some bone, but I'm gonna pull this card and the very next video, I'm gonna post it right after I get done posting the video you're watching. I'm gonna post the video of all the footage off that camera on these dead chucks. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab these ones and throw them there. Stay, scout. Put these ones down. And then uh, we'll see what comes and eats on these ones. Here we go. Thanks for watching everybody. What do you say, Scout? Thanks for watching everybody. See you on the next one.